In our morning rounds, new clues to cracking the mystery of Alzheimer's. Research shared at a major international conference suggests your sight and smell may be the key to early detection of Alzheimer's, even before symptoms surface. And computer programs that boost the brain's processing speed could help delay the onset of the disease. Our Dr. David Agus is in Los Angeles. David, good morning. This is good news as we learn more and more about detecting Alzheimer's early. What have we learned? Um, it's pretty amazing. The studies were released this morning, and it shows that the eyes and the nose are a window to the brain. So in the case of the eye, if you look in, that retinal nerve that comes out of the brain, if it gets narrower, that's an indicator of the onset of Alzheimer's. And then there's a panel of 40 scratch and sniff surfaces, from turpentine to lemon to bubblegum to skunk. And if you can identify over 35 of them, a much lower chance of progressing to Alzheimer's. Below 35, it shows that it may be starting. It used to be that we had to inject radiation for a PET scan or stick a needle on the spine to look at early Alzheimer's. So obviously these are a big advance, cheaper and easier. So does your sense of smell, David, change over time? Because I'm thinking we all know the smell of lemon and turpentine. Right now, does it change? It's the recognizing of the smells. So we can smell, but it's recognizing what they are. That's the processing that's involved in this test. So right now there is no known cure. Do you think this is going to lead to a cure to help fight the disease? Well, listen, I'm an optimist, and I see what's going on. And so for the first time now, we have drugs in development that are hitting the biologic processes involved in Alzheimer's. And so there's a lot of excitement there. But one of the studies that just came out at this meeting looked at a computer game. And this was a game where you either looked at memory, reasoning, or processing. And speed processing, if you did it for an hour for 10 times, decreased the incidence of Alzheimer's by over 30% over 10 years. If you did a refresher at one in three years, 48% reduction. Those are dramatic numbers. We've never had a game that actually decreased dementia. So this is exciting. So, so in addition- so what, what, just go ahead and I'll come back. In addition to games, what else can we do to prevent Alzheimer's and why are you optimistic? Well, we, we can be lean body mass, we can exercise, we can take care of our blood vessels, we can do all of the things that have been shown or possibly associated. But I'm really optimistic so because some of the drugs in clinical trials now, I think are going to show benefit. What are we doing, David, here? Delaying the, impact, the time of the impact of Alzheimer's, not curing it or preventing it? Well, what we're doing is, yes, we're delaying it. And so from these studies, we know that dementia at 10 years is lower. It doesn't mean that it will never happen. No, we just don't know. And it's not taking people in this computer game study and reversing it. It's delaying the incidence, which is just right. as good as a win in these cases. And so obviously all of us want to delay this horrible disease that steals the soul. Okay, Dr. David Agus, I think you can take off your sweater today. I hear it's 129 degrees in L.A., but it's always good to see you. <laughs>